Hey there, fellow time travelers. Do you remember the enchanting days of yore when the flicker of the silver screen painted dreams on the canvas of our imaginations? Ah, the nostalgia. I'm curious, did you catch the spellbinding 1978 masterpiece, Days of Heaven, back in those glorious days? If you did, let's take a stroll down memory lane together. Picture this, the soft glow of the theater lights dimming, the anticipation in the air as the story unfolded. Was it the sweeping landscapes, the hauntingly beautiful cinematography, or the characters that left an indelible mark on your heart? Am itching to know what were your favorite moments? Did you find yourself lost in the wheat fields, swept away by the romance, or maybe captivated by the sheer artistry of it all? Whether it's the ethereal beauty of the visuals, the evocative performances, or just the overall vibe that etched Days of Heaven into your memory, I'd love to hear your stories. Share your experiences, reminisce about the characters who became your silver screen companions. It's like uncovering a hidden treasure trove of shared memories. Now, speaking of treasures, did you know there are some fascinating behind-the-scenes facts about the making of this cinematic gem? Get ready to be amazed as we dive into the intriguing details that add layers to the magic of Days of Heaven. Ready to embark on this cinematic adventure down memory lane? Let's roll back the reels and uncover the secrets. And remember, every memory shared adds a stroke to the canvas of our collective nostalgia. So, spill the beans on your favorite moments from Days of Heaven. Can't wait to hear your tales. It's a conversation worth having about the past, the present, and the timeless beauty of cinema. Let's get talking, my cinematic companions. Days of Heaven, a 1978 film directed by Terrence Malick, is a visually stunning masterpiece that unfolds against the backdrop of the American Great Plains during the early 20th century. The story revolves around Bill, Abby, and Linda, three drifters who pose as a family while working on a wealthy farmer's land. The film's standout feature is its breathtaking cinematography, courtesy of Nestor Almendros and Haskell Wexler, which captures the enchanting beauty of the landscape. Richard Gere's Bill, Brooke Adams' Abby, and Linda Mann's Linda deliver compelling performances, with Linda's innocent narration adding a unique layer to the storytelling. Terence Malick's distinctive style, characterized by minimal dialogue, and a focus on nature's ephemeral beauty sets Days of Heaven apart from conventional cinema. This film's lasting impact on popular culture is seen in its influence on subsequent generations of filmmakers, shaping the art of visual storytelling. Days of Heaven remains a timeless exploration of love, betrayal, and the human connection to the natural world, making it a classic in cinematic history. Days of Heaven, a cinematic tapestry rooted in art, and reality in the vast cinematic landscape of Days of Heaven, the visual motif of a distant farmhouse surrounded by endless wheat fields captivates the viewer. This image bears a striking resemblance to Andrew Wyeth's iconic 1948 painting Christina's World, and Edward Hopper's House by the Railroad. Additionally, it evokes memories of Rita, the ranch home in the film Giant. This artistic connection weaves the film's visuals into the broader tapestry of American art, creating a timeless and haunting atmosphere. A movie primarily shot in the ghost town of Whiskey Gap, Alberta, Canada, adds a layer of authenticity to its narrative. The desolate surroundings of this abandoned town provide a haunting backdrop that complements the film's themes of love and betrayal. The choice to film in a real ghost town enhances the visual storytelling giving the movie a unique and palpable sense of place. Unusual for its time, the main mansion in Days of Heaven is not a mere facade but a fully furnished and decorated house. This meticulous attention to detail adds depth to the film's setting, allowing viewers to immerse themselves in the world of the characters. The authenticity of the mansion contributes to the overall realism of the film setting it apart from other productions that often rely on superficial sets. As we delve into the heart of Days of Heaven, it becomes clear that the film is not just a cinematic masterpiece, but a carefully crafted work of art that draws inspiration from both the canvas and the real world. The connection to iconic paintings and the choice of a ghost town as a backdrop reveal the deliberate choices made by director Terence Malick to create a visually stunning and emotionally resonant film. In conclusion, Days of Heaven stands as a testament to the power of visual storytelling in cinema. From the inspiration drawn from timeless paintings to the choice of a real ghost town as a setting, every element of the film contributes to its lasting impact. 
As we revisit this classic from 1978, we are reminded that true artistry transcends the confines of the screen, leaving an indelible mark on the collective memory of film enthusiasts. Days of Heaven, scriptless filming, and the birth of Panaglide in 1978, Terrence Malick's cinematic masterpiece Days of Heaven took an unconventional route to the big screen. Instead of sticking to a rigid script, Malick, after a short period of filming, discarded the screenplay entirely. He opted for a unique approach, allowing the actors to organically find the story as they traversed through the cinematic landscape. This departure from conventional filmmaking brought about a year-long shoot, resulting in a film that unfolded like a living, breathing entity shaped by the experiences of its characters. Adding to the film's authenticity was the work of costume designer Patricia Norris. Keen on avoiding the slightly artificial appearance typical of studio-made period films, Norris took a bold step. She crafted every outfit worn in Days of Heaven from used fabrics and old clothes. This meticulous attention to detail contributed to the film's immersive atmosphere, transporting viewers to the early 20th century without a hint of Hollywood gloss. One technological milestone associated with Days of Heaven was the introduction of the Panaglide, Panavision's answer to Garrett Brown's Steadicam. This innovation revolutionized the way films were shot, providing a smooth, and dynamic mobility previously unseen in cinema. The Panaglide's inaugural use in Days of Heaven marked a turning point in filmmaking, influencing subsequent generations of directors and cinematographers. The marriage of improvisational storytelling, authentic costumes, and groundbreaking technology made Days of Heaven a cinematic triumph that defied convention. Terence Malick's bold decision to let the narrative evolve organically, Patricia Norris' commitment to realism through costume design, and the pioneering use of Panaglide collectively shaped a film that continues to captivate audiences decades later. In the realm of cinema, Days of Heaven stands as a testament to the power of innovation and creative risk-taking. It remains a milestone not only for its narrative brilliance, but also for the behind-the-scenes choices that breathed life into its frames. As the sun sets on our journey through the mesmerizing landscapes of Days of Heaven, I encourage you to let the echoes of this cinematic masterpiece linger in your thoughts. The flickering wheat fields, the hauntingly beautiful score, and the evocative narrative have woven a tapestry of emotions that resonate beyond the frames of celluloid. Take a moment to explore the corridors of your memory palace and unearth the emotions stirred by Terence Malick's 1978 opus. Was it the ethereal cinematography that painted an indelible picture in your mind? Or perhaps the intricacies of the characters' relationships that left an imprint on your heart? Share with us the nuances that made Days of Heaven a personal pilgrimage for you. In the quiet recesses of your reflections, discover the threads that connect your own life's narrative with that of Bill, Abby, and the enigmatic world they inhabit. Let this be a space for the communion of cinephiles, where the collective pulse of shared memories beats in harmony. Your thoughts, like fireflies in the night, illuminate the vast expanse of interpretations this film has to offer. So, drop a comment below and let your voice join the chorus of those who have been touched by this cinematic symphony. Thank you for embarking on this cinematic odyssey with us. Your unique perspective enriches the tapestry of our shared experience. Until our paths cross again, may your reflections on Days of Heaven be as timeless as the film itself. Warm regards.